let's start with two very 30,000 foot level questions here. One is uh, how likely, in your opinion, and from your experience, is an all out war up north uh, between the IDF and Hezbollah? And then the next one, this is, there's a lot of playing room here, but what would that look like? I think it's highly likely that we'll see Israel and Hezbollah go into a full scale war. They're, they're currently at war right now. It's just low, lower intensity than we would expect a, a full exchange between the two. There, Israel has over 60,000 citizens displaced. Any one of these attacks that are occurring daily would have solicited a violent response by Israel prior to October 7th. Now we have multiple attacks like these occurring daily. This isn't sustainable. Hezbollah is basically dictating the pace, which Israel cannot allow. I think it's just a matter of time. It might be one month. It might be two months. Uh, certainly the U.S. is doing everything it can to delay this war because it fears a, a wider regional war, which I also would argue is currently happening. And what would that war look like? Well, I think we're, what you'll see is large exchanges of short, medium, and long-range rockets and missiles and mortars fired by Lebanon, particularly at the onset. Levin, the Hezbollah is going to use it or lose it. The Israelis will be in, um, will launch an air campaign to begin to try to take out particularly Hezbollah's uh, medium and long-range missiles, which can reach Tel Aviv and could reach all the way to southern Israel. Those will be primary targets. The Israelis, it's hard to predict what they're willing to do here. I can tell you what I think they need to do here, which is they need to drive about 20 to 25 uh, miles into Lebanon and occupy it. Uh, this is horrible, but this is what needs to be done in order to reduce that, um, the short range and some of the more the shorter medium range myth, rockets and missiles that Hezbollah has. They have, it's estimated over 200,000 rockets and missiles in their arsenal. And this is what they will use to terrorize Northern Israel. The Hezbollah will go after civilian targets, military targets. Um, it will launch everything it has as quickly as it has in order to make Israel suffer. And the Israelis will be, I believe, primarily via air and um, going after, again, those medium and long range missiles. I do believe there will have to be a ground component to this in order to in order to drive uh, Hezbollah back from the that northern border of Israel. It's ironic that the Israelis, you know, 20 oh, almost three decades after abandoning Lebanon, they're in a situation where they're very likely going to have to occupy southern Lebanon in order to reduce that threat to the border. What do you make of of the chairman of the Joint Chiefs uh, of Staff, uh, CQ Brown? He he's expressed concern that one of the problems here could be that, and you've touched on it with the the number of rockets, number of munitions that they've got. He's concerned that the uh, Hezbollah could essentially overwhelm uh, the Israelis' Iron Dome defense. Absolutely, he's he's correct, and that is the concern. The Israelis do not have enough launchers. They don't have enough um, Iron Dome interceptor missiles in their arsenal to go after that range of Hezbollah missiles. They, I can't tell you when they'll deplete their stocks, but they will eventually. And this is why the Israelis need to take the initiative and to take out as much as of Hezbollah's arsenal as it can before it's, it is launch ready. The you know, it's it, it, not only is there not enough interceptors uh, available, the the cost of, I believe it's somewhere around 50,000 per interceptor. You know, go ahead and multiply that by 200,000, then go ahead and, and look at the hit miss ratio, which I don't know exactly what it is. But let's say it's two, two to one. You'd need 400,000, you know, Iron Dome launchers in just to uh, just to intercept them all. And it's just not possible. So and that and that, by the way, is only if Israel is dealing with attacks from Hezbollah. What happens if Iran launches long 
long-range missiles at the same time, Hezbollah? What happens if the Houthis weigh in? What ha happens if the Iraqi and Syrian militias move uh, equipment to southern Syria and join the fray? Um, and then what happens if there's uh, ground operations by these groups as well? So it, the Israelis, they can't possibly target all and or intercept all of these missiles that Hezbollah is likely to launch. Mm -hmm. um, this is the conundrum that Israel is in. This is what happens when Hezbollah is allowed to arm itself um, with very little repercussions over the past uh, two decades.